with 22% of its land mass consisting of water and approximately 8 million homes, the housing sector in Lagos State will experience a significant deficit if the state's population continues to grow at its current rate. Joining us now to discuss solutions to the housing challenge in the state of Lagos is the uh, Lagos State Housing Commissioner, Boson Jeje. Good, ev uh, good evening, Mr. Jeje. I hope you can hear me clearly. Of course, uh, the PPPs that are involved in this investment, take us through how you've opened up the sector um, to get foreign direct investment in and how have you made it attractive for private partners to come to the party? Uh, well, foreign direct investment in housing, uh, we're trying to do um, a public-private partnership. Um, that's one of the policies of the state um, in housing delivery. Um, this is a situation in which um, the state government partners are going to joint ventures with um, private developers, whereby um, the state provides land for the developer to, to, to develop the land and then we work out modalities in which the developer will um, get his profit and the state will get a, a, mm -hmm. a share of the houses that must have been built. Mm -hmm. So in this, in, in this, um, this, in this sense, uh, we are increasing the housing stock of the state concerning that um, we have um, a high deficit and we realize that the state government cannot do it alone. Um, unless we partner with um, private developers. So yes. we go through private um, partnership, mm -hmm. public-private partnership, we call it PPP. Mr. JJ, take us through how you're making it affordable for citizens because of course housing, housing is quite costly and it's a very tight market at the moment. Uh, what kind of, of offerings have you had um, and how affordable is this housing really for citizens? Well, we're trying to make it as much as possible affordable. Um, affordable has so many definitions. Um, it's not only in terms of the costing of the houses, but in terms of the ability to pay. Mm -hmm. So we look at it that um, outside the costing, which we try to bring down as much as possible because we realize that we are using the taxpayers' money to build these houses, and um, we are not profit-oriented, we are not profit-motivated. So we try to, as much as possible to ensure that it's only the cost of construction that we try to realize, but there's no margin of profit on it. So we, we try to um, bring the cost down. Then affordable, you should look at affordable at ability to pay. And ability to pay depends on how, 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 how a subscriber can pay for a longer period. Um, that is why we came up with the mortgage scheme that um, if we ask somebody to pay, you are buying a house, and you are paying for between 15 and 20 years. This ability for you to pay is just like, um, you'll be paying rent every month, and this rent is Indeed. rent to own. Yes. It's not rent to the landlord. 